Hey everyone, welcome back to my 1952 Vincent Black Lightning lesson. In this lesson, I'm going to start to show you kind of all the iconic riffs in the song, all the crazy Travis picking patterns that he does, how to play the intro lick to the song, where all the bass runs go. I'm going to describe this as kind of like a short score for the song. It's not going to have all the bells and whistles, but it'll have all the main stuff you need to have the song really sound, you know, like the way it's characteristically supposed to sound. Make sure you still got your capo on the third fret here. You're tuned down, you know, low C and to A down to a G. Um, should get us into a B flat tuning. Let's start out with this opening lick, shall we? Let's tackle the intro riff right away. I should also note, this is the version he plays at the 2006 Cambridge Folk Festival, which I think is my favorite rendition of this. And it's evolved the, the lick a little bit. So it's got kind of all the forms that it's kind of taken, sort of summed up in a way. All right, here we go. So we gotta start out. We're pedaling our B-flat chord that we learned from part one. First thing you wanna get down. Pinch, pinch, and the hammer's between the pinches. I'm using my pointer and my middle finger to kind of get these two strings pretty much the whole time. Play that with me once. At this part, he's gonna use his middle finger again to kinda hammer up there, a middle finger on the right hand. I mean, he hammers with his pinky, of course. Play that with me. Now he comes this pull-off trick. The main thing you gotta watch out on this passage is the right hand fingering, it's or your picking hand fingering, I suppose. It, if you don't finger this in a fairly efficient way, you're gonna get stuck up in it because it just goes very, very fast. So I'm gonna do the hammer with the middle finger. And as I go down there, I'm gonna kinda do middle, pointer, middle, pointer. Middle, pointer, middle, pointer. Middle, pointer, middle. The next part, of course, you can just go middle, pointer, middle. You can just kind of keep the pointer on the B string and the middle finger on the E string. That kind of makes sense for that part. So let's just play all that stuff that we did so far. One, two, one, two. Take a second, try to get that much down. This next lick is probably the, the part I screwed up the most when I was first getting it down, because just, it just goes very quickly. He goes. So I would hammer, pluck with the middle finger, use the pointer to kind of pointer middle. And as you, at this point, you're gonna use your middle finger twice in a row. You're gonna go middle, pointer, middle, middle, pointer, middle. So you're gonna kinda use the middle finger twice on the E string because it's gonna let your pointer finger cross you over to the B string and follow by the middle finger again. That fingering actually works pretty well at the speed you gotta go in. So it's middle, pointer, middle, middle, pointer, middle. So let's see if we can put that together with the first part. If we can get that much, we're doing very, very well. This is the trickiest part of it, so. much a couple times make sure you have got it down as best you can at whatever tempo works it's a very tricky part so to really make sure you've got a very strict fingering on that so that when you really push it to speed your fingers don't get jumbled up that's one of the trickiest things i encounter when i first tackled this song all right so so the next part after it's done that it does that riff twice and then it goes he starts using these two fingers to double pluck the b in the strings
slides up here to the fifth fret with all that. And he's kind of mixing between pinching and playing a bit. It's like in. So you can get that rhythm pattern. Maybe even slower. I'll just. And you can let this left hand go. To kind of give it more of a staccato effect. That really does a lot for the rhythm. All right. So this whole lick, he's kind of playing between. In this area here, you'll see in a lot of live versions, he kind of screws with just, you know, playing in this little box here where he's got, you know, the fifth fret and the fifth fret of the E string, third fret of those two strings. And he goes over to the B and G strings and he's doing fifth and fourth fret down to third and second fret. Try to get that under your fingers a second and then I'll play through the lick he does here. It's an odd count, so really try to feel it with me as best you can. I wouldn't bother counting to four because it doesn't add up to four. All right, here we go. So, two, three, start with a hammer. Slide, slide again. Bring that one home one more time and then I'll explain it a bit. Now the trickiest thing about that is probably the plops. It's like you kinda, It's like you kind of gotta, you kind of gotta like slide into something while the thumb is still going, and the the right left hand coordination gets a little bit tricky. So, that one's probably the trickiest because you're going thumb pluck, and you got to be plucking with your thumb at the same time that that lands there. So make sure you're not dropping a thumb stroke in there. That's one of the trickiest things to avoid doing. But so if you can catch that one more time, let's play through it up to that point. Once you've gotten all the parts, we're going to play everything up to that point. Here we go. Two. And. Just the repeat. Now he's going to go out of it. So. Go over that section a couple times. Make sure you've summed it up all up to that point. It's probably going to challenge you quite a bit at first, so take as long as you need to solidify that. Next, we're going to go into you know this special Travis picking rule. I've seen a tallest man on earth use this one a couple times. I think I'm going to make some lessons on that too. But so what happens here is he kind of embeds a rule in a Travis picking thing. He kind of goes. He starts out by going. Um, he's doing this all on the fourth third, second, and first string. Starts with the thumb here on the D string, and your ring finger is here on the fourth fret of the D string. And he's gonna pluck the two open B and E strings. And then that's followed by the thumb playing the open G string. So the thumb's still going. The thumb is still doing the same two stroke kind of stuff it's been doing, but it's embedded in triplet bing, triplet bing, triplet bing. And then what you gotta do is speed that up a lot. So like anything else in Evolve Speed, start with it slow. Or even without fingers. Or on any chord you want. You can do those over a C thing. Whatever it is. But then you wanna just try to throw it as fast as you can. And see if it's close enough. It falls apart. No worries, go back, study it slowly again, and go back and forth between the fast and the slow until you can make it work. But here's the essential thing he does. He kind of follows a melody down here. He goes fourth fret of the D string, second fret of the D string, open D string, and then he usually does second and then fourth fret of the A string. So it goes D, 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 D. And with the roll, back to pedaling over the B flat chord. So a little faster goes. And at tempo, it sounds like. Yeah, excuse me, one more time. There we go. So take some time with that. Make sure you work the bass line before you try to do all the rolls with it. All right, so if you're really brave, try to work that all in with the beginning part. I'll start showing you the next part.
you know, he's kind of starting back to where he was, but it's more syncopated. He's, he's got this going. Pinch. See so if you just get that. Pinch between, pinch between. So try to just get that little pattern down. He's gonna follow this with some hammers. Second time. So work that part together. This part is where he starts to do the cross string riff. So he's gonna to start to come from you know, reaching up here on the E string to reaching kind of down here on the B string. So he's gonna reach up to the, I guess, relative to the capo, it's the seventh fret of the B string. It's the actual 10th fret. And then he's kind of reaching back here on the third fret of the E string. So he's kind of get this. It's kind of where he's going next. So he is. what's coming up here. So, so he's kind of So this is where we just wound up. He does pinch, pluck, pluck, ding, 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 pinch. And then we'll do this one more time. That's right. That's the right one. Just do that much with me. Kind of sort of, he's pseudo repeats. He goes, so the first time he does two G's in a row and then an F sharp, and then he does a G, F sharp, G's. Um, and then ends with an F sharp as he's going towards this, this E. So it goes. Now there you have to usually do, I usually just prepare to do two fingers in a row. I usually just do my pointer finger twice really fast. You can, you know, you can do your pointer or middle or middle point or whatever, but I would just prepare for that little snap right there because it happens pretty fast. So let's just play that part fairly slowly. Two and three and. got that part down. From here, he's going to go into kind of a weird double slide thing, which is it's kind of counterintuitive, so it takes a little getting used to. So he goes, so he does doing the same rhythm as he did before. He goes, da, 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 up to this F sharp here. As soon as he hits this F sharp, he slides right out of it to no particular place, just down, because he has to get below, below that note, because that's where he's sliding up to next. So he goes, excuse me. So let's see if we can go everything from the roll. We'll go start right after the roll, see if we can sum up everything up to there. And then there's two more bars of this pretty much, and then we'll be done. So we start it. That's where we are, right? One, two, a one, two, three, four. So go over that a couple times, make sure you got that part down. Um, basically, there's just a real quick bass pedal here. There's basically just, yeah, he just kind of rolls through a couple of patterns and throws a quick bass line in there and then he's into the verses. Um, so after he gets that, you know, he kind of slides and does kind of an alternating thing. He goes, na, 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 na. And then 
he just kind of does the same thumb mm -hmm. pattern he did before, but he adds the fourth fret of the A string as an extra bass note, so he goes. Bum, 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 bum. Thumb doesn't have to do anything different, just. on that note he kind of does some kind of extra strum and at that point he's into the verses so let's see if we can play this whole intro riff whole thing all together beginning to end slowly let's see how we do one two That's one of the trickiest parts of the song to get. So if you've got that, you're in pretty good shape. All right, so I'm gonna add one more main Travis picking pattern that he does. I mean, this is kind of a placeholder in a way, but he does use this actual pattern quite a bit in the song. You know, he'll, he'll pluck the first, his first bass stroke, but then he'll pinch right on the second one. And then he does kind of a, you know, kind of alternating in between strokes on the E and the B string. So he's. when I'm just kind of like, when I'm sick of doing this, just throw that in there. I think it works pretty well to kind of liven it up a bit. So, so now let's go through this song. I'll kind of use that and the kind of original pedaling pattern I showed you. And the main thing I'm going to show you now is where he throws bass lines in. I'm going to throw very simple bass lines in there now. He does all kinds of stuff there, but we're not going to talk about the details now. I'm going to show you where they happen. I'm going to give you simple bass lines. It's going to be great. Here we go. So here we go. Beginning. Says Red Molly to James. Here we go. That's a fine motorbike. So always going into this E flat. He's always got one. I'm just going. Bum, 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 bum. It's all kind of on the fourth and the fifth fret of the A string, and then I'm using, obviously, the open D string to kind of alternate with that. And I'm into this. Sometimes he'll do different things with the bass here, but I'll show you those later, variations later. Generally, he rolls through this one. You know, he goes to the second part of this. It says, Red Money to James, my hat's off to you. Vincent Black Lightning 1952 And he'll keep pretty much this um he can keep more or less the same Travis pattern over the uh, the B part of the verse and I've seen you at the corners and cafes it seems red hair and black leather my favorite color schemes and it pulled around this is all pretty normal he almost always switches to the more simple pedaling pattern here. Getting through that. Sometimes he Travis picks through that, but usually it's just. Now here, he usually he strips it to the bass for a second. He'll just go. Now just the bass for a second. That's a really, I think, special pattern that he does pretty religiously. So here, let's take a look at what that is. He's going. Da, da, da. Pinch, pluck, pluck, pluck. So you basically going da 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 da. Pointer, middle, pointer, middle. Bum, ba, dum. There's two pinches in a row. Pinch, pinch, pluck, pluck. Two pinches and two plucks. Pinch, pinch, pluck, pluck. And it's 
followed by another kind of offbeat pluck, but he's taken the ring finger and moved it down to his bar, basically. And he pinches that last note on the B string. And at that point, he goes back into his pedaling pattern. Whatever kind of in between fill he's going to do. So, at this point, I've kind of showed you, you know, some of the major things that he does to kind of, you know, colorize the verses and, you know, where some of the bass lines happen. Um, and we've got this intro riff. So, the next thing, I mean, we could really just start going into a gajillion different types of variations he does on the Travis patterns and how he plays all these in between licks. So, I think the next lesson I'm going to do. I am going to show you how to play pretty much note for note the 2006 Cambridge Festival rendition of this song. I think it's a very mature rendition of this song. I've kind of avoided some of the earlier ones because they're nice, but they don't have the same depth. Some of the parts he still feels like he's kind of finding his way through them a little bit, whereas these later ones, they have a lot more ideas. Um, you know, they're a lot cleaner and they just, um, they, they, just ha they have more depth and more character to them. It's like a well-aged wine at that point. So um, that's that's really what we're going to go into the next lesson. I'm going to show you note for note how to do that with the solos and all the extra patterns and garbage. It's going to be it's it's going to be quite an adventure. This is a huge musical milestone when I tackled this transcription. So I hope it'll be the same for you. Yeah. See you in the next lesson.